Hi guys. In this lecture, we're going to be talking about scheduling and creating a calendar to schedule in your Q2 or big rock challenges that you have every day and every week. What we want to avoid doing at all costs is sorting gravel. We want to keep our eye on the prize of the big rocks right there. So that means we are going to be scheduling in the big rocks and avoiding sorting of gravel. We've worked really hard on the first two steps, acting on the important and going for the extraordinary. Now we need to focus our attention on scheduling the big rocks and not getting lost in the minutia that threatens to destroy our productivity. So the paradigm for today is once again, schedule the big rocks. The principle today is priority. That is a priority is something that is higher in importance and worthy of specific attention. The behaviors that we're going to be involved in to do this is creating a master, master task list and doing weekly and daily planning. So the behaviors is creating a master task list first of all. How do we do that? It is something that captures all of the incoming tasks in one place and helps you separate out what is gravel and what isn't. And this is your reference in Q2 planning and keeping, you, keeping your attention focused on what's important. So take a minute and pull out your to-do list or make a to-do list if you don't have one. I'll give you uh, about a minute or so to go ahead and generate a to-do list for the upcoming week. Okay, after you've done that, put a check by those things that could probably be uh, considered as less important, and that will help you keep track of the important things that you need to do. So in weekly Q2 planning, we need to take 30 minutes a lot of people do it on Sundays to connect with your roles and goals that you developed uh, during the last lecture. After that, you schedule in the big things. And lastly, organize the rest of the things around the big tasks. So scheduling the big tasks, what are the one or two most important things that I can do in this role this week? So here we have Sasha again. In her case, as a student, this week's big rocks were to study for her final exam and to attend a job fair. In her role as a mother, she was gonna take her daughter to the park twice and establish a reading routine at bedtime. You know, the reading routine is one that's gonna recur at the same time every day. Next, she went to the calendar and put her big tasks in first. 
Here is her career services. Here is her park. And it looks like she actually, we don't have an arrow going to the park. So let's go ahead and fill that in. Oh, that looks like she'd be blue. There is the park over there. And the bedtime reading routine, you can see that once again, that is an every night reoccurring way. And the rest of the things on the list get filled in after the other ones have been um, already scheduled. And what are the one or two most important things you're going to fill in this for yourself in which role you are scheduling for at that time. And organizing the rest is the last step. She had team meetings, um, calls, runs, soccer practice, things that you really can't avoid, but aren't the uh, two or three most important things that absolutely have to have the most attention paid to. And her week ends up being scheduled a little something like this. And you'll notice this little blue arrow pointing to daily Q2 planning, a 10 minute chunk being carved out for daily planning. And that's important because that's the 10 minutes daily, usually at the end of the day, to close out the day, review the tasks and appointments that came up. If they didn't get done and they were Q2 tasks, make sure that they are scheduled the next day or as soon as possible if that's not it. And then organize the rest again. A rule of thumb is to take that 30 minutes each week to make that schedule and get those big tasks in and 10 minutes each day to review the day and see if the tasks had been uh, properly paid attention to. And believe it or not, using the 30-10 rule is going to end up taking a lot of stress off you and saving you time and most importantly, keeping you concentrating on the things that are important. And with that, uh, I will make sure that you understand how to get started on a Google Calendar so you can start scheduling in the big tasks and then uh, going back afterwards and scheduling in the less important things after that.